Okay, so I've landed here in Calgary. It's been a long morning. Uh, I was at the Ottawa airport for six for my eight o'clock flight. That went well. Then unfortunately there was a delay in Toronto, 45 minutes to crew availability for my flight to Calgary. Well, I have another 45 minute delay due to mechanical problems. So I'm here, running a little behind, but it's still here early enough. The plan is uh, obviously leave Calgary, go to Banff. Uh, that's my first stop, should mention. It's my second time in the Canadian Rockies. First time was in summer. This is my very first time uh, going here uh, in winter. I'm really pumped, really excited. I can't wait to see what's like. And so let's get going. So I'm here at uh, Lake Minnewaka. Uh, it is uh, 20 after 4, so about an hour before sunset. The sun is over there. It's very cloudy and overcast, but pretty cool clouds. Uh, I, have been, I have seen photos that of methane or methane bubbles here. Now this is right along the shoreline, obviously not here. See right there, the two Parks Canada red chairs there. Some interesting scenes up here, like, uh, potentially good abstract photos. For those that follow Adam Gibbs, uh, he loves this type of photography. Now I actually do have a nice long lens, I uh, just bought the Sony 100-400. So I should be able to capture something there in this type of light that might work. Now, this is obviously a beautiful mountain here at Lake Minnewaka. I'm actually going to walk closer towards it and hopefully find um, you know, methane bubbles so I have a bit of time to explore. So let's do that now. I'm doing a voiceover here simply because the amount of wind really uh, destroyed the auto quality of the recording. Uh, what I'm explaining here is I'm actually doing a focus stack of the foreground and the background in the mountain because I was wanting everything sharp from front to back. But I will admit when I got this into the editing suite, uh, I realized that there's really obviously not a lot of detail in the snow. So the focus stack uh, wasn't necessary. Uh, so here's, here's the, uh, that image. So what I'm doing here is a single shot 
Um, you actually notice it changed the composition. You can see the previous foreground right in front of me. Uh, so F8, no filters, and a two second timer uh, to deal with the camera shake. I hope you enjoy the image. Here it is now. So would you stay for a minute so I can be brave? Let me catch my breath. Now I can feel what I'm saying. I'm letting you know this heart's on the edge. Take a few different images to kind of blend some of that movement in. We'll see what it looks like. I haven't seen it yet. It's hard to tell on the camera, especially while I'm frigidly cold on Lake Minnewaka. Even though like the uh, temp temperature is supposed to be like two, maybe zero, minus two, or something like that, the wind coming across here is pretty, uh, pretty sporty. So. So one thing I forgot to do, um, is I have not been shooting a lot of, well, a lot of winter landscapes, is you do need to overexpose a bit to the right. That's because the sensor will try to shoot gray as opposed to white. So with all this white snow now, it is blue tingy and whatnot. So it's not the brightest of whites. But I am going to overexpose a bit to the, light, uh, to the right. Now the bonus of that is I'm getting a longer exposure. Currently at 15 seconds. And that's with one stop overexposed. Uh, and I'm just going to, for fun, shoot that same scene at two stops overexposed. Although I might be past the timer on this. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, See what this looks like here in 30 seconds. Nobody loves you like I do. Let's see what we can make of it. If this is it, this is it for the night. Uh, if not, uh, stay tuned for a little more. We will see. So I'm back at Lake Minnewaka. Might be hard to tell. The only thing that really looks different from this video is I have my headlamp on. Sunset again here. Uh, it's the night after. What I've done is this is actually, well, I'm going to try to show it here. Uh, it doesn't really come out, but this is actually a big rock formation here, just off the beach, uh, that you can access in the summertime. Uh, so I'm on top of that. The reason why is I got a bit of a foreground interest here with the bare ice, and I'm kind of centered with the, uh, the mountain here. So I'm losing some light. I'm going to work fast here, so let me get the shot set up. So right now, I'm uh, shooting a long exposure. It is 20 seconds. Uh, 
and it's overexposed, but I'm also bracketing. Uh, not necessarily because I was super smart, it's because I forgot the last spot I was shooting, I was bracketing. So it'll be nice, I'll get some different uh, light and dark areas, which might allow me to do a little bit of exposure blending. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how this, uh, this turns out. In fact, you'll see how this uh, turns out right now. So would you stay for a minute so I can be brave? Let me catch my breath. Now I can feel what I'm saying. I'm letting you know my heart's on the edge. Cause I wanna spend my life with you. Hope you enjoyed it. I haven't seen it yet, so uh, I imagine I walked a bit through it. So what I am going to do though, I do have a... Uh, so here I'm just explaining that I've put on my uh, six stop ND filter uh, from Leaf Filters uh, because I'm trying to get streaky clouds. But the light's supposed to come, I think from over there and those big mean dark clouds are sucking us in here again. Grr. Um but still, uh, there's some nice light. I'm getting more of a blue tone right now. That could be the white balance. So we'll see in post what I do with it. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of liking this uh, composition a little better than I did the one uh, yesterday. But uh, at the end of this video, uh, I'll let you look at the, my favorite shot from the first uh, night here and uh, this shot here, or one of my shots uh, from uh, this night here. I would love to know whether you prefer this photograph from my first sunset evening at Lake Minnewaka or the previous photo I just showed you which was from the second night. Please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you. So I'm just perched here on the side of that little uh, rock crop out. Cold, very cold. Uh, I just got my hiking pants on and uh, it's basically some long johns underneath. So, yeah, not the smartest thing I should be doing right now. So I'm going to hop up. I'm going to see what the light does. Uh, hopefully that uh, some light pops back out here uh, while I warm me bottom up. Oh, what was me? <laughs> So I had planned to camp out here for a little while longer. Not that the light is necessarily doing anything amazing. Like I said, I was hoping for it to poke through a little more there in order. Sorry, swivel, swivel slowly, swivel, swivel slowly to hit that mountain a little better. But clouds aren't necessarily cooperating. I was happy to wait a little while longer battery died and that in itself is not an issue I have spare batteries so as I begin to somewhat dismantle my camera they get to the battery door long boring story actually this is a very short boring story so I'm still not gonna tell it so I get that all off open the door take it the battery reach into my jacket pocket to get the batteries, that's where I was keeping them, keep them nice and warm. Only to forget that I had taken them out in, in the car, thankfully, to switch out a GoPro, GoPro battery, and I left them on the seat. So I'm just gonna pack it up tonight. If the light was spectacular, you would have seen 
mad dash, beating every world record. So packing it in, and uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please uh, like my page, like the video, and I encourage you to share the video. Um, actually, I guess technically it's please subscribe. So I can be brave. Let me catch my breath. Now I can feel what I'm saying. I'm letting you know this heart's on the edge.